the City of Gilbert Special City Council meeting on Tuesday, October 18th, 2022, 5 o'clock p.m. Call to order. Roll call, please. Sure, thank you. I have Mayor Orbisar. Here. Councilor Skazich. Here. Councilor Leone. Here. Uh, Chief of Police Type Teacher. Myself, Jill Zoller, and um, I do not have Councilor Polis or Heisman in attendance. We're asking all right, we have enough for a quorum. A special meeting is called for light public hearing with the police department, Chief Teacher. Okay, Chief Teacher, I'll hand it over to you. Uh, good evening, Mayor Council. Uh, thank you for coming tonight. We originally had 15 properties. Uh, since we served letters about a week and a half ago, we had 10 actually uh, comply and clean up the property. So we are gaining some ground uh, with the compliance. And what we'll go through is we'll go through each of these properties here individually. However, the property owner from 116, uh, Minnesota Avenue, which would be your second one on the list if you go to the second file, would be a Lewis Evans address to. Going to that one, uh, there is a representative from the property that would like to uh, make a request. So if you want to step up there and hit the uh, button and uh, speak your case. All right, I just wanted to ask for an extension because my husband had a family emergency down in Georgia, so he's been gone all month and there's some heavier stuff that I can't lift myself. And then the two vehicles that are overdue tabs will be getting licensed on Monday. My husband will be home on Friday. So. Extensions for how long? About a week. About a month? A week. A week or two? Yeah. This is was the one of the properties on less. No, this is a new property. <coughs> I see a problem if you need a week or two. All right, thank you. We have a great motion. Yeah, I'll, I'll make a motion on that. An extension of two weeks. So. Two weeks at the most. All right, thank you. Second. I'll second, I'll second it. it. Moved by Councilor Stanford, supported by Councilor Leone, to approve the two week extension for. Um, Lewis Evans, 116 Minnesota Avenue, West Gilbert, Minnesota, to uh, violation code city code 9319 related to health and safety in those cases. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 We'll say nay. Motion carries 3 to 0. Thank you. Thank you. There's really nobody else here, so we should do move pretty quickly. Uh, will be the 416 Michigan Avenue West. That property has been uh, somewhat abandoned for the last year or so. Uh, you'll see, and I, I, we made non-colored copies just because of the cost. I try to save on cost of making so many copies for everybody with the color. If you need to see an actual colored copy, I do have one colored copy made. Um, I can pass that around to you. Oh, yeah, you see, yeah, this one here. All right. Is it under a different name? It'd be 2720, Alyssa Hughes, oh, okay. 2720 South Admiral Road, Road in Forbes. Okay. And what I can do is I can provide you the color copies, but I just didn't want to waste money and burn up all the paper. But um, that's kind of what you've got here. Okay, look at that. That's fine. I just didn't, there's not a, I don't think there's a physical address on here. Oh, you know what? You might write down the pictures. We wrote down the pictures, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. that was one mistake okay. we kind of made, so. Okay. Um, again, the grass is over a foot tall. There's a vehicle that's disabled, not in operating condition. I would ask that uh, the city abate the property, which would be 416 Minnesota Avenue West. Michigan. I'm sorry, Michigan. Thank you. Okay, so we here to be the uh, be the third four sixteen Michigan Avenue West. Okay. 
taken on that. Yeah. I'll move. Move by council. Yes. Yes. In that case, second by council, you only need to abate and serve the property of 416 Michigan Avenue West. No more discussion. All in favor say aye. 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 We'll say aye. Motion carries 3 to 0. Right. Yep. Uh, the next property will be the 101 Ohio Avenue West, Kelsey Lanick. And I see there's nobody representing that property. As you can see, again, I'll provide you the color copies. Several unlicensed vehicles. So, that's just wrapped up right here. Is that actually, is that the the uh, structure with the garage in the yep. lower level? It's Correct. not the white house next to it? No. Okay. Okay. I have a motion to abate the serve. I'll move. Move by Councilor Skankis, moved by Councilor Yoni to abate the serve with Kelsey Manning, 101 Ohio Avenue, West Gilder, Minnesota. For violation of City Code M319. All in favor say aye. Aye. We'll say nay. Motion carries 3 to 0. All right, next property will be 204 Wisconsin Avenue West. That is the property that is next to the uh, Methodist Church up on Wisconsin Avenue. This one's been a repeat offender over the years. Um, I, I was anticipating one of the owners to be here tonight as they wanted to request that the city crew would be willing to uh, haul the washer and dryers, a washer and dryer house that needs to be moved. They do not have an ability to bring that to the dump. And they were asked if the city crew would be able to do that. That's something um, if you're willing to do that. If not, but you still have the stuff on the back against the house, several uh, mattresses and stuff like that. So they'll have to be hauled in tires. They'll have to be hauled by truck anyways. So if the city crew does it, they'd be doing more than just the, right. more than just the actual uh, property. So. So I ask that the council abase this property. That's good, you know. Is that serve two? Serve the citation? Uh, to us to go up on the other property and clean it up. Go up and clean it up, yeah. yeah. Humble. Yeah. My closer says it's more like council only to abase and serve. Barbara Miller, 204 Wisconsin Avenue, West Gilbert, Minnesota, violation city code 9319. And also, do we need an ambushing uh, to okay, uh, to help with hauling them? Uh, it's up to council. Uh, these people have claimed hardship in regards to uh, cost. And they, like I said, they're not here to speak. Uh, they had talked to me last week. Um, if the city would be willing to haul the stuff away for them. They would pile in the alley if the city crew would haul it. Now, I said I couldn't make a decision that we would pay the dumping fees. I don't know what those dumping fees would be, probably within 100, I suppose it would be around $100. Well, so um, we can always build them, but I don't know if we want to get into the practice of paying for one place and then everybody else will make the same request, hardship, and well, how do you turn hardship, so. I think mattresses right now are, they used to be five dollars each. Yeah. And there's it looks like at least three or four of them here. Yep. So and they're not cheap. No, and I don't know that. I thought you were just it. talking about the white uh, stove and something like that. Yeah, there's also a stove on the end. Well, that, that's three. Put the other way. But it would cost us time to bring yeah. it up there. So well, then we'll just forget what I said. Okay. Yeah, and that, I'm okay at that. I don't know. We want to set that precedent because mm -hmm. there's a lot of there's a lot more properties that are worse than that. And probably yeah, just the same thing. I washing machine or stove. Are you talking about more? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. All right, we get the motion and a second to all the case. Aye. Aye. Motion carries three to zero. Can you clarify for me, please? We are not going to remove the items. Thank you. 
per cost. I mean, we're, we're going to remove them, but we're not going to. They're going to be charged for that. Charged okay. Yep. Thank you for clarifying. Uh, the next property um, is 311 Indiana Avenue West. Um, <clears throat> this has been every year, twice a year, with the long grass. There's now accumulated a, a couch and stuff in the back. I would ask for full abatement on this. To cut the grass and also remove the couches and other construction materials. Motion mm -hmm. mm -hmm. to abate and, and serve is in order here. Excuse me. I'll move. Move by Councilor Scandia, supported by Councilor Naomi to abate and serve. Bonacano um, 311 Indiana Avenue West. A violation of City Code 9319. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 We'll say nay. Motion carries 3 to 0. All right. Uh, so, those are the, the, the 15 properties, those are five that were not in compliance. Uh, a couple updates. Um, the 212 Nebraska Avenue West property, which is actually our worst property in town, um, we've received a court order of a 20 day, uh, I guess you could say, hold off uh, due to some eviction uh, decisions that were made by, the, by a judge. So, that will not be addressed for another 28 days as the individual was granted by the judge 28 days to get the property off prior to us um, going on and cleaning the property up. And uh, judge's order, court order, trumps kind of our city ordinance on that. But the good thing is that individual has been removed from the property. So after 28 days, I hope that that property is never an issue for us. Uh, the other property that we're given a grace period for is 4777 Differently Point Road. Um, I guess I'll just mention that there was a death that occurred at the property and due to some potential uh, issues, we're going to grant another 30 days on that. And I'll leave it at that. I can talk to you more um, about it, but um, it involves an incident that occurred there within the last, I'll just leave it at that. So, so those are the two properties that are uh, kind of put on hold right now. So. If we get end up with getting a lot of snow, we'll just have to postpone it till spring then, or? Well, we could get that, yeah. Two things, and that's the thing, once this has been decided, yeah, like I said, I told everybody that there was gonna be a two-year project, so some of these properties are not gonna be addressed. This 311 we just passed is also gonna be part of a condemnation hearing, hopefully in the future, to try to get that tore down. So we're trying to get those done too. Those take much longer than the blight stuff, so if we can get it all done at one time, maybe we can take care of it. Um, but yeah, we're still gonna get some of our worst properties done. We still have a ways to go, but like I said, this was a plan on being a two-year project. And I think by the end of next summer, we should be sitting very well um, with very few properties, other than the people that are gonna be repeat offenders, repeat, repeat offenders we're just gonna have sighting and, and kind of make it more of an inconvenience for them because they're, they're not catching on to what the point of this is to clean it up, so. But the, the different point was supposed to be cleaned up already and that was put on hold due to a like I said, uh, a death that occurred in the property. So mm -hmm. I'll leave it at that. Did you see the other ten or did you have any list? We had compliance, yep, yep, we've had compliance. And then like I said, we still now we're gonna be up to well over a dozen and the secret needs to clean up. One of the properties that each crew, crew tried to go on with the loader and they actually started sinking down. And uh, so we, they decided that the way to the ground freezes and they'll, they'll go on and pull off. So one of those properties I'm gonna ask Lower New Jersey. Huh? Or Lower New York? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you brought that one. Is that one? That's one that we're, that we've abated it, but due to the heavy equipment not being able to get on with the soft with all the rain and stuff, we're waiting until it freezes. And then uh, there's one up on the brass, two in Nebraska. Okay. Well, it was two down lower in New York, right? Yeah, the one's been abated. If you know us, we went on there and we, we hauled, I think it was three dump truck loads up. Okay. Yep. The other one is, I get questions about for the last two, three years of million, and probably 10 years for you. 
Is it, it's a Louisiana summit with cars. Yes, that is that will be addressed before 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 the first year. That'll be addressed before well, maybe not for small flies, but it'll be addressed. Yeah, that one is that's all taken care of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yep. Uh, any questions for the council? Anything else we need to do there? All right. No, like I said, when I was flying, I had 15 on the list, and we had 10 actually come in, and make it work with them, and they had them all cleaned up and cut. Mm -hmm. Problem is, three of them are grass, and I would suspect next year we'll be dealing with the same thing with long grass, so we'll have to start studying them and more aggressively. So, the car issue you said on the lower Louisiana, you took care of and proper with yeah. that one way down at the bottom by the alley over Louisiana. Off work down. I guess I'll, I'm not sure about that one. I don't know. I'll look. It's been parked there for a long time. Okay. I don't know way up on the top is one way down at the bottom. Okay, I'll look. I'm not familiar with that one, but I will find out. Okay. okay. Perfect. Um, and then you got some condemnations, three or four of them? Uh, we have about four houses. Two on Dakota, one on Indiana, Wisconsin. and one on Wisconsin. Mm -hmm. and, uh, main, and the main street. And the last, second to last house on Main Street, I think it's seven, yeah. it's seven eighteen or seven sixteen, I believe it is. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> so we're uh, moving right along, right? <laughs> well, I don't know about moving right along, but we're making some progress. More than we would have, we would have started addressing it. We would have been, yeah. yeah. We're making some progress. Good to hear. Thank you, and Megan and the department, okay? Yeah, the city crew. And our final officer is back from Kuwait now, so we're full staff, so mm -hmm. we've got time to do stuff, so. Okay. If we don't need any other business, we can adjourn. Okay. Correct, yeah. I'll move. I move by Council's candidates, or by Council the only, to adjourn the special council meeting for the blade issues at uh, 518. All in favor say aye. Aye. Post it A. Motion carries. We are adjourned. Thank you.